anyway, I mean, moving on from some really good wins okay. to some really now potentially change. bad teams. The NFL trade deadline is yeah, right yeah, around yeah, there the you corner. Go. Okay, and uh, I need Fritz. Three, Fritz. And, you, and, you'll pop, and these are pops of drops. Okay, these for pops draft picks. Right. Starting with you, Fritz. Who do you think is on the move? Right, three, you know, I think you're take. really going to hate to see and this pop. guy move if he does. I have to go with Jerry there Judy. Go. Nice. Broncos. That's what so we're nice. saying. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, this team just really doesn't have an identity at nope. this point. The offense is really stagnant. Wanna look, for valid. Jerry Judy, for the season, 20 nice. receptions, no there touchdowns, 222 ahead. yards. Mm -hmm. That's not what you want to see out of somebody that you expect to be your number one receiver. Uh, I definitely uh, think that he just needs a new change of drop. scenery, maybe yeah, a new drop. quarterback pairing, new offensive coordinator to get him some open, scheme him open, so definitely think the Broncos need to just do a full factory reset, you know, sell the house, sell everybody, get Jerry Judy out of there so he can get a competent quarterback. Two, I like that idea. <laughs> I really do. But, Valley, who do you think is on the move? I gotta go with Take. the Raiders star wide receiver, Devontae Adams. Nice. I mean, they just traded from last year. There's only a year into a contract that runs until, I believe, 2026. Uh, yeah. But the Raiders, overall, there's not a good football team without a good head coach and without a good quarterback. And, uh, you know, he's disagreed with the way the team has been constructed, the, some coaching decisions, uh, some play calling decisions. All, overall, he's not happy. And John. the Raiders, they might be enticed. I mean, he's 30 years old now. They can get some young talent. They can get some pretty high draft picks for him still. So they might trade him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's already been complaining about his role in the offense and how he's been underutilized. Yeah. Which, if you're underutilized, nice one. Adams, there's a problem with your play calling. But yeah. let's be real. Uh, Bijan, who do you think is on the move? Three, um, I'm, I'm going to have to Pop go with it. Justin Simmons. You know, oh. the Broncos are have the third worst, um, third worst record. Yeah, third worst record in the league right now. They already rumors about them doing the fire sale, which they should. And oh, this article, close, though. Simmons, Damn. even though he's 31, he's still one of the best safeties in the game. And there's a lot of contending teams that can use the services. Howie, please make the call. And and even though he is 31, there is only, after the season, only one year left on his contract. So whatever team trades for him isn't making a super long-term yeah. commitment. So i got to go with Justin Simmons. Man, no, I mean, again, I'm all for it. Just sell the house. <laughs> Get me Caleb suspects. Williams, okay. please. Anyway, Trent. I mean, one take. for me, I have to say and Brian I Burns, um, Carolina Panthers. Uh, any team could use an edge rusher at any moment. So you I'm do sure a any team would want him, especially uh, a team with maybe two first-rounders. Okay. But Carolina needs a first-round pick. They don't have one this year. They shipped off this year's to Chicago, and now they're struggling. They need to give Bryce Young some amount of help. So the best way to do that is to ship off Brian Burns somewhere else and make sure they can get him his talent. I agree. I mean, Brian Burns is a really good player, and a lot of teams Ready to use change? his services right now as we're heading into the middle of the season. Trent, sticking with you, the Detroit Lions have and been change. incredible to nice. start the year, to say the least. I want to ask, who do you think Trent, is we're popping responsible for the here. Lions' okay. success this year? One take. I mean, the answer is simple. Got to go Pop for it. the top dog in the entire quarterback. Of all the quarterbacks in the NFL this year, got to go for a top dog. The top golf, if you will, and Jared Goff. Oh, boy. I really love how he's been playing First this year. All, been fantastic. Not even close. Limited turnovers, <laughs> only three interceptions to 11 touchdowns, 105.1 passer rating, and overall just really been leading this and team to victory. Drop it. Yeah, no, I mean, golf's been playing at an MVP level. Oh, like, seriously. Uh, but Fritz, who do you Fritz, think is Fritz? Fritz? Yeah, I need no. Fritz. It's one thing that definitely uh, complements a really great offense is a defense that can hold it yes. down. Nice and one, one person Again, that's helping out with that is Aiden Hutchinson, is Defensive Player of the Year. Um, he's in the running for it. He has a great. He's been having a great season out of only six games, four point five sets, and a pick. One of the best spin moves in the game right now. Watching him rush the passer is just amazing at this point. I think the Lions are really going to make some noise, and having Aiden Hutchinson in that defense is really going to help win some close games after um, coming up. I agree. Right, two take. Been one. Incredible since he burst out, out on the league last year. But Andrew, I got yeah, one take. Schedule making gods. And I mean, you know, these guys they've had a, a cakewalk of a schedule to start <laughs> off the season. And it's gonna get quite literally gets one easier more, as the more. season goes on. One more and we're and listen, out. I'm not a Lions hater, but I'm not a Lions oh, yeah. believer either. Yep. I mean. The only oh, that was it? Okay, relative, okay. Uh, you know, relevant opponent they beat was the Chiefs, and they didn't have Travis Kelsey, they didn't have Chris Jones, and Kadarius Tony dropped about eight balls that game. So they probably would have won, won that game. Listen, this schedule is super easy. They can win 13, 14 games. I don't think that they win a wild card game or a divisional game, especially if you go against an opponent like the 49ers or the Eagles, where their offense and is just going to completely overpower that defense. And, and uh, to take I, I, what I don't get, uh, Trent, here, Trent, mm -hmm. is what you're saying is how many uh, times on this take. desk? Have we said it's difficult to get a win in the NFL? And just because when a team starts winning, you say, oh, they have easy opponents, no, it means nothing. There. It doesn't matter. They're still getting quality wins. And just because the Chiefs didn't have Chris Jones or Travis Kelsey, 
He still had Pat Mahomes in the back, and last time Nobody I checked, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Uh, uh, two takes. One, I need okay, a two shot. Two shots. Tony, the guy yeah, is Tony. Two out. Two out. Sure. Right yeah, regardless, that doesn't mean they don't have a great defense on the other side. They have good players. Regardless, they still have a good offensive line. Listen, they play the Ravens this week. That's going to be a good test for them. Yeah, and they're going to beat them because Detroit might be one of the best teams in the league right now. I I disagree. I disagree. Two take. We agree to disagree. Sure. I mean, it's strong, po- strong points on both sides. But Bijan, closing us out, who do you All think right. is responsible? Man, Three take. You, you talk about and Jared Goff, Trent, but we got to go to the man on the sideline calling the plays for Jared Goff. I got to go with Ben Johnson. The play calls and concepts he has been calling right, after have this, been we're gonna, incredible. Uh, we're going to end this. The, so the I need, run um, and the pass game is top five, Not now, or at though, least okay. top ten in every good offensive metric. With a move, and while two, Goff plays oh, yeah, great poise and anticipation in the pocket, you have guys running wide open. Amon Ross St. Brown, um, like they really don't have a dominant alpha ex, alpha, um, outside wide receiver, and but they're still getting guys wide open, and it's just Ben Johnson. I just love the way he's been calling plays and the play designs, the motions, and all that. I just gotta think we gotta give Ben Johnson the praise he deserves. Yeah, probably gonna be Two the take. head coach and in the league next and year if he decides to leave. Would love if he used Jameer Gibbs a little more. Yeah. Uh, Save my fantasy team, please. And, and no love for Dan Campbell. Yeah. A little weird, but. While the, hey, only, right. while the NFL is under? only in the middle of their season, the MLB is getting close to the finale of theirs. The MLB playoffs are up next uh, on WP Sports. Ready to start your move?